Okay, so today we're going to be doing an experiment to find out how much energy is in different kinds of food. We're going to be doing that by burning the food and seeing the temperature rise of water when we hold that burning food underneath it. So, I'm going to start off by showing you the equipment that we need to actually conduct this experiment. So, firstly, you should have seen on your list the equipment that you've been asked to collect. It should look what I have got in front of me. So I have a splint. This is used to light the Bunsen burner. I have a boiling tube. This is what I'm going to put the water in. This is called a clap. I'll show you how to set those up in a second. We have some tongs. We have what is called a boss. We have a thermometer to measure the temperature rise. And we have a measuring cylinder to keep it a fair test, making sure we're putting the right amount of water in our boiling tube each time. We obviously have a heat proof mat. We have a stand, a Bunsen burner under another heat proof mat. And most importantly, I've got my goggles and I have my lab coat on to make it a nice, safe test and experiment. OK, so I'm going to pop those on. Right then, first of all, what I'm going to do, I need to set up my clamp stand with my boss and my clamp, okay? So, this is quite difficult to get right and some people often struggle with how we set these up. So, what I'm gonna do first, you take your boss and we need to undo the screws enough so that it can fit over our stand. So, screw it nice and tight so it's not going to move. This might take a bit of time. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight on so our boiling tube isn't going to fall over. Next part, we need to put our clamp on. So again, we need to make sure we've unscrewed the screw enough to fit our clamp in. So again, pop the clamp in the boss and again, tighten it so it's nice and tight so our boiling tube isn't going to go anywhere. It's going to stay in there. Be careful that you're making sure that the clamp is facing the right way up because obviously we need to stick our boiling tube in there. It's not going to be much use to us if it's on its side because it'll, all the water will come out, it'll be the wrong way around. So make sure that that clamp is going to hold our boiling tube vertically to our clamp stand. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do then, we need to agree on a measurement that we're going to measure the amount of water we're going to put in our boiling tube. We know that when we're doing a fair test, we need to keep everything the same apart from our independent variables. So we're going to measure out 20 millilitres of water into our boiling tubes each time. So get down at eye level, make sure you can see the water. Oh, put a bit too much in there that time. Okay. All right, so I've got my 20 mils in there. I'm going to pour that into my boiling tube. Okay, now I'm ready to clamp this into my clamp. So again, just like we did before when we're setting up the stand, we need to unscrew our clamp so it's large enough to fit our boiling tube in and tighten it again. Careful not to do it really, really tight so we're not smashing the glass, but it needs to be secure in there. Okay, so now our equipment's set up, all we left to do is to burn our food. So I need to measure the temperature at the beginning using my thermometer, then I'm going to actually burn my food. So I'm going to set up my Bunsen burner. Make sure you're lighting this safely. Your teacher will light her match and you can use a splint. Don't stay off. Making sure we're doing that safely. Okay then, so, using your tongs you need to hold that piece of your food nice and safe. I wouldn't suggest having a really large piece, just make it small enough so we can hold it underneath. So, hold it in your flame, a roaring flame would be best, so that it starts to heat up. Okay, you'll see my food has now got a flame underneath it and I can hold that underneath my food. I'd like to under there for about one or two minutes and then after that record the temperature increase that has happened on your thermometer, okay? So, 
Okay, so this is basically how we do it. So I'll let you get on with it yourselves now. Okay.